dynamic balance. So a pose that would be out of balance for a stationary character uh, could be in balance uh, when the character is moving. So uh, let's start with a simple example of how this works. Let's say the character is uh, standing on a train and the train is moving at a constant speed or uh, maybe the train is just uh, sitting still. Then the line of gravity uh, goes straight up and down. Uh, on the other hand, if the train accelerates forward, then uh, to stay in balance, the character uh, needs to lean forward. And uh, one way to understand this is that the acceleration of the train combines with the acceleration of gravity. And now uh, the acceleration of the train causes the line of gravity to, uh, to tilt um, in the direction of the accelerating train. Uh, so the character, in order to stay in balance with this tilted line of gravity, uh, needs, needs to lean forward. Uh, another example, uh, the same similar example, uh, let's say you're standing on a bus that's uh, not moving and suddenly the bus starts moving forward. So it accelerates, um, in this case, uh, towards screen right. Uh, well, this character uh, that was in a pose that was originally in balance when the bus was not moving, uh, the character now loses balance because uh, the line of gravity has tilted and now the center of pressure is back uh, behind the character. Uh, so the center of pressure is no longer under the base of support, which is the area around the feet. And for that reason, the character, uh, when the bus accelerates, uh, the character is out of balance and uh, falls uh, towards the center of pressure. Uh, similar case happens if, uh, say, the bus is moving with a constant speed, but then suddenly uh, stops. So now the um, uh, this deceleration uh, causes the line of gravity to uh, tilt in the uh, opposite uh, direction. And so now the line of gravity has um, tilted, as you see here, the new center of pressure is again uh, outside of the character's uh, base of support and the character is thus out of balance um, due to this uh, sudden stop of the bus and falls towards the center of pressure. Now, uh, another type of um, acceleration that causes a tilt in the line of gravity is when the uh, character is in a situation where they're uh, doing a turn. So uh, in this case, we have a centripetal acceleration towards the inside of the turn. And uh, to stay in balance, a uh, character naturally uh, leans into the turn. Uh, we can understand uh, rollover loss of balance when a car takes a, takes a tight turn. So here, um, if the car is taking uh, a very tight turn uh, towards uh, screen left, then uh, there is a centripetal acceleration towards the inside of the turn. The line of gravity tilts towards that acceleration. Now the um, line of gravity, if the tilts enough, uh, the new center of pressure might not be underneath uh, the area around the tires. In that case, uh, the car would uh, tip over. It would no longer be in balance. This is a similar situation uh, if the car was simply parked on a slope that was steep enough that the center of pressure was outside of the base of support, it would also uh, tip over in this way. Now, sometimes it's helpful to uh, imagine this uh, situation from a different point of view. So from the point of view of someone in the car, uh, this turn uh, makes it appear as if there's a centrifugal force that is pulling the car uh, towards the outside of the turn. 
uh, in that case, uh, if that force is strong enough, uh, and uh, say the center of gravity was high enough, then uh, that could cause uh, the car to tip over. Uh, let's watch this uh, quick scene from uh, Bullet and watch the cars as they make uh, some high speed turns. <laughs> In that scene, uh, you see that the uh, because the car's suspension is is passive, uh, it is um, tilting to the outside of the turn. You can think of it as being pulled by the centrifugal force. Now, uh, if there were motorcycles uh, taking those turns, then those uh, the motorcycle riders, uh, in order to stay in balance, uh, they naturally lean into the turn in order to maintain. Uh, dynamic balance, as you as you see in this photo. Let's see a scene from uh, Madagascar Three that shows this. Both of this, Daisy. What are you doing? Zebras can't drive. Only penguins and people can drive. Both of this, Daisy. What are you? So, you see in the scene that um, again the car's suspension is passive, so the centrifugal force uh, acts to tilt it uh, to the outside of the turn and the motorcycle riders uh, naturally actively lean into the turn to maintain uh, dynamic balance. Now one last thing about uh, this effect is uh, let's say we have uh, two motorcycle riders going the same speed, one on the inside of the turn, one on the outside of the turn. Now going the same speed, same miles per hour say, uh, going the same speed, the one on the inside of the turn experiences a greater centrifugal force uh, and thus would have to lean more to maintain dynamic balance compared to uh, the rider on the outside of the turn. On the other hand, if they are uh, say on a turntable, if we have a situation where uh, we have two things on a turntable and the turntable is going a constant number of revolutions per minute, uh, so it's constant rotation, then in this case uh, the whatever it is on the outside rim is going to experience more centrifugal force than uh, someone, a character on the um, uh, closer to the center. So in this case the it's not the same as before because the actual speed in terms of miles per hour is uh, significantly greater for uh, the character on the outside of the turn. They're going uh, a around a larger circumference, uh, greater distance in the same time that the character on the inside is, is turning around. So um, a little bit subtle there, but uh, you need to remember this distinction. So in this case, where they're uh, both turning the same number of revolutions uh, per minute, say, uh, same rotation, there's a greater centrifugal force um, on the outside. So that character would have to uh, lean in more to stay in balance um, than the character on the uh, inside part. So just in summary, when there's an acceleration, the line of gravity tilts in the direction of that acceleration. Uh, tilting the line of gravity is going to move the center of pressure, so uh, dynamic balance, uh, the uh, character would have to adjust for that. Uh, in a turn, the centripetal acceleration tilts the line of gravity towards the inside of the turn, and uh, the centrifugal force uh, is an apparent force on the character that seems to be pulling the character towards the outside. For a given speed, say a certain number of miles per hour, uh, the tighter the turn, the greater the centrifugal force, uh, the more the character would have to lean to maintain dynamic balance. On the other hand, if we're on a turntable, then for a given rotation rate, 
uh, the centrifugal force is the greater on the outside part of the rim than um, towards the inside. Uh, not an not easy concept, but hopefully this uh, clarifies um, these ideas of dynamic balance.